Hi there guys, I thought I'd take this opportunity uh, today to share with you uh, two uh, AccuPoints which I believe is very very important uh, for everybody uh, to know about. Um, it's a very useful piece of information I think for anybody uh, who, who's looking out for a family member, uh, a very close friend or a loved one. Um, hopefully we'll never be in this situation where we have to use this but I think it's very important that we have this knowledge as well. Uh, so what, what am I talking about? I'm talking about things like fainting or loss of consciousness and what do you do once, uh, once you see somebody um, in, that, in that situation. So first aid tell, teaches us to, to lie the person down uh, facing up and to lift their legs up to get, uh, to get the uh, circulation through back to the brain to help them regain consciousness, which is uh, good, good information and I don't, don't say go against that. Um, what I want to add to that as well, there are two acupoints that you can use as well to help it, to assist that process. So I'm going to share them with you. Uh, the first one, the first acupoint I want to share with you is uh, a point in Chinese uh, called Renzong. Uh, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it uh, properly. Um, anyone that speaks fluent Chinese, please do correct me and um, yeah, I look forward to, to hearing from you as well. But uh, the first point that I'd like to share with you is Renzong, which is located just below the septum of the nose. And that's a third of the way from the septum of the nose down towards the, uh, the very tip of the lip there. So it's a third of the way down. And so situate, if, if I go a little bit closer, so it's a third of the way down and you aim it 45 degrees up. So it's 45 degrees up that way. And you can dig in very hard with your, with your nail there. Or alternatively, you can use your use a key and we're all carrying keys around with us. So if I show you, if you use this point of the key and press up, it's really, really painful. If you want to practice this on yourself, push up and that just like, that makes your, makes your eyes water, inflicts a little bit of pain, but hopefully that will uh, shock the individual to, uh, to, to, coming, to coming back round again as well. And there's the second point is uh, kidney one, known as, well the Chinese word for, for kidney one is uh, yong chuan. So yong chuan, and that's, um, well forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it properly, please, please correct me if I'm, uh, if I'm wrong here. But the second one, second point, is located on the sole of the foot, so this is the sole of the foot, and that's two thirds from the bottom of the heel there, going towards the second toe. So you find that for breaking it into thirds, so it's two thirds of the way up, so it's one, so three, two thirds of the way up, and that's kidney one is located right there. So you may need to take the individual's uh, shoes and socks off to get into that point, or if they're barefooted, uh, press into that really, really hard and press the knee as hard as you can. Uh, maybe using a, a tool, uh, maybe like the back of the pen, uh, this this part of the pen here, not not the point. Okay, we're not uh, we're not trying to pierce the skin here. Okay, so those are the, those are the two main points. Um, I really hope you find this uh, this helpful. Um, if they don't come round within about four minutes, then that's the time really to to, uh, to get uh, to get in touch with the ambulance, um, and also for check for check for their breathing as well. So I really hope this is uh, this has been useful and informative, and I hope it does come into you know it does become useful. Hopefully you won't have to use it, but. Um, but it's good. It's good. It's a good piece of information to have. So, uh, if there's any th any questions or um, any any other pieces of information that you ever want to find out, or is there anything in particular you want me to blog about, write about, do a video on, please do get in touch, and I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, stay healthy. Take care now. Bye.